Hola, it's Senora Huey, and it's time for Spanish. It was good to see you all on last week, okay? You're doing well. I need you to speak a little bit more to me and try to give me as much Spanish as you possibly can, in fact, that you can remember. All right, now, we're going to review some things here, add on some things, whatever, until we get to the end. All right, move in, and we know I need to tell you all now that you are the... Um, fourth and fifth graders, therefore, you're going to be required to learn in Espanol, in Spanish, all of the books of the Bible, the Old Testament and the New Testament, okay, all 66, all right, moving in, so I'll get you started on there the first of March, so get yourself ready, and we're going to start learning the Libros de la Biblia, muy bien, pero, clase, que meses, I think you don't even have the warm up today, I'm going to let you go right straight into this lesson, que meses, what month is this, remember, okay, clase, Es el mes de febrero. Repeat after me. Es el mes de febrero. Repeat. Es el mes de febrero. Okay. And then, entonces, ¿qué estación? Estación is the what? Remember estación? The word estación means the, that's the season, okay? So, if, the, if we're in the month of febrero, ¿qué estación? What season are we in right now? In español, in Spanish. Remember? All right. And if I say you're in the season of... El invierno. This is the winter season. El, el invierno. Now, generalmente, generally, it's kind of cold this time of the year, and we are getting a little chilly right now, but it's going up and down. But generalmente, generally, it's kind of cold in February, okay, and heading into March. So, classy, you would say, oh, I say frío. I say frío. So, you would say, en el mes de febrero hace frío. Generalmente, generally. Let me see. Generalmente. Can you say that? Generalmente, generally. So you say, oh, generalmente, en, el, en febrero hace frío. In February, it's cold. Y febrero está en, el, en la estación de el invierno. And February is in the season of winter, or winter season. Okay, muy bien. You're actually going to make conversation and actually speak like you know what you're talking about because you do. Muy bien. All right, now, class, again. What season is it? Mm -hmm. And what's the word for season also? What? Estación de invierno. Muy bien. La más importante cosa de este mes es, the most thing, important thing this month that we have to remember, the tiene que recordar es, that this is el mes de la historia negra. Now, sometimes I might say Afroamericana, and sometimes I might say Negra. Was it Black History Month or sometimes it's Afro American history? Okay, either one is okay. Okay, so repeat it. Mes de la historia negra. Mes de la historia negra. And you will recognize some people here, some things that happened throughout the years. Okay, muy bien. So that's still here. We're still celebrating the entire month of February and always. Now that you know what's going on with the temple, with the weather. All right, now that's a big thing right now. So, first of all, there have been, there's been some talk about El Nieve, okay, El Nieve, okay? And while you have Nieve, if anything that's maybe a few inches, you might be able to make, okay, I see. You might be able to make uh, El Angel de Nieve. So you say, I want you to learn how to say, I am making. You say, like, actually, if it snows, you say, you're talking as well. I'm making a snow, um, I'm making a snowman, I'm going to make a snow angel, whatever. So class A, and in the end, baby, we're going to say, ago. Ago means I am actually doing it or I'm making it. Because it's short words, ago. That means I am making or I am doing something, okay? Ago el ángel de nieve. Come on. Ago el ángel de nieve. I am making a snow angel. Pero, if you can say that, then tell me that you are making a snowman. Same word. Ago el hombre de nieve. Hago el hombre de nieve. Muy bien. Also, you will see, sometimes, supposedly mañana, tomorrow, there's supposed to be la copa de nieve, but I can't say la copa because I don't. I know there's not going to be one snowflake. If anything, there's going to be more than one. But for one snowflake, like you see, one snowflake here, class, I repeat, la copa de nieve. But, but if you see more than one, you're going to have add S's here. Las copas. There's more than one. Las copas de nieve. Mm -hmm. Las copas de nieve. For snowflakes. Now, also, we may encounter a little bit of this on the road. We don't, you don't drive yet. 
Espero que no. I hope not. Okay. Now, let's see. You're not driving yet, but sometimes in the morning, you might see this on the streets, on the car, whatever, on the windows, or some, on the house sometimes, uh, on the porch. You might see clase el hielo. You remember that letter, the letter H in Spanish. It's not pronounced, therefore, the sound that comes after the H you say first. So H is what absent is written, but you never say it. So the I behind it is what E. The E is A. So ye, hielo, clase el hielo. Muy bien. Mm? Muy bien. And por la mañana, temprano, early in the morning, all right, por la mañana, temprano, you might see por la tierra, on the ground, por la tierra, you might see por la tierra, la escacha. That's what it's called. We call it the frost on the, it looks like it's snow, but just frost and it melts away when the sun comes up. I say la escacha. Muy bien. And we have a little fun today with some things you already know, reviewing things you like to do, like eat. Mm-hmm. Okay, now. Well, these words, I'm asking you to, let's go ahead, choose one. Oh, I'm going to give you two choices, sometimes three, and I'm going to give you four. But I'm going to give you two at a time, two choices. Okay, those are so here, those two choices. And you're going to tell me if you want to, you like one, and then the one that you really want, okay? I'm going to give a choice of two things. Now, my first category, my primer category, my first category is going to be those things that are called fruits. Mm -hmm. So now I have two here, okay? I have two here, all right? Now, let's see if you can pronounce them without my help. The picture tells you what, what it is. So, now, the strawberries, how would you say the strawberries? Ah, las fresas. Las fresas. And how would you say the pineapple? La piña. Now, here's your, here's your task. You're going to tell me, I like, and then I want, okay? You're telling one that you like, and then the one you really want right now. Okay, you have a choice. Pasta de pita. I like. Me gusta. I'll say for both of them. Let's go. Me gusta las fresas. Mm -hmm. Me gusta las fresas. Uh, tell me that you like the pineapple. Me gusta la piña. Now, so I like is me gusta. Now, tell me that you want them. Which one you want? So you're going to say quiero. But you either you want one. You got to really pick one. But I'm going to tell you how to say each one so you can pronounce them the correct way. Well, I say, I want this quiero. Some say, ¿Cuál quiere? Which one do you want? I would say to you, ¿Cuál quiere? Which, which one do you want? But you can say, well, I want, I say, repita, quiero. Quiero las fresas. Or you will say what? Mm -hmm. Quiero la piña. Muy bien. That's two. Now let's try these two. All right. Let's see. For your class, you need to say the one uh, for here on the bottom. Banana is too easy for you. You need to say this one here, okay? They both being banana. Mm-hmm. Uh, class A. So banana, you say what? La banana or el platano. And I want you to say el platano. Or you want this one. What are for the grapes? Las uvas, but nobody eats one grape. But then you might see one grape on the floor. You will say la uva, but nobody eats one. Okay, class A, you say las uvas. And tell me that you like them. You will say, me gusta, excuse me, class A, okay, me gusta, me gusta el platano, or me gusta las uvas. Tell me that you want it. Quiero el platano, quiero las uvas. Muy bien. All right, now try these two. You should know all these by now. All right, let's see. These two particularly. Tell me that you like it. Me gusta la naranja. Me gusta la manzana. Tell me that you want it. Quiero la manzana. Quiero la naranja. Muy bien. All right, that's that category. This one I think you'll like a little bit. You might, you might be a little hungry after this. Are you ready? Here's your first two choices. And tell me that you like it. Got these first, that one. Like that one. I know you do. I'm going to give you this one first. All right, let's see. One I have to explain to you. Now, I know you see hot dog right here, and it should be in Spanish. It will be the next time you see it. <laughs> I typed it wrong, so incorrectly. So, Classe, I want you to say, I'll help you with this one because it's in English. Classe de Pita. Perro. 
Your tongue must roll, okay? Perro. Mm -hmm. Perro, and the word is perro caliente. That's a hot dog. So the perro is the dog, and caliente is hot. Okay, so you call a dog hot. We say hot dog. Okay, that's the way the language is spoken backwards to us. I say perro caliente. Roll that arm. Perro, because it's two arms. Perro caliente. Mm -hmm. So you want it is what? Quiero el perro caliente for the hamburger. La, H is always silent. La hamburguesa. La hamburguesa. Tell me that you like it. Me gusta la hamburguesa. Tell me that you want the hamburger. Quiero la hamburguesa. Muy bien. All right. And this one here. I have an extra one for you just in case. I, I, I didn't put it with the other one, but it goes in that category. So it has two choices of the kind. This is classic pizza. It's pronounced pizza in Spanish also. And tell me that you like pizza. What would you say? Me gusta pizza. Mm -hmm. But now tell me that you want pepperoni pizza. You would say, quiero pizza, pepperoni. You always say what it is first. Then you say what kind afterwards in Spanish, okay? We say cheese pizza. They say pizza cheese. Okay, we'll be in. So class A, tell me that you want cheese pizza. Quiero pizza, queso, and tell me you want pepperoni pizza. Quiero pizza, pepperoni. Muy bien. That was good. Okay, now to go along with all of that, let's see which one you're going to choose for this, and I know what it's going to be. Maybe not. Let's see. Tell me which one you, let's say you like it. You like the salad. This is salad first. I say, I like the salad. Mm -hmm. Me gusta la ensalada. Tell me you like the french fries. Me gusta las papas fritas. Tell me that you want the french fries. Quiero las papas fritas. Tell me that you want the salad. Quiero la ensalada. Muy bien, clase. Now I'm going to wash this down with some choices here. Okay. I see. I gave you. I'm giving you three choices. All right. Okay. Nah, I'll give you all four. Let me give you all four. I'm going to give you one more choice. All right, so I can do two at a time instead of one by itself. Let's go with this one. All right, let's do it this way. All right, here's your choices. Either you want this or this. Tell me you like it. Okay, me gusta. All right, how you tell me you like the, the, you like the milk? Me gusta la leche. Tell me you want the milk. Mm -hmm. Quiero la leche. Tell me you like the tea. Me gusta el té. Tell me you want the tea. Quiero el té. Excelente. And here's your last choice. Okay, last two choices now. Okay, and you can mull on this when you see it in the house, whatever. Say it in Spanish. Tell me that you like the soda. Mm -hmm. Me gusta la soda. Tell me that you want the soda. Quiero la soda. Tell me that you like the water. Me gusta el agua. Tell me that you want the water. Quiero el agua. Muy bien. ¿Qué es la palabra de mes? What's the word of the month of February? What's the word of the month? Uh huh. Es what? El corazón, the heart, for love. ¿Qué pasa? El corazón, the word for love is what? Amor. In Spanish, the word for love is amor. And February is the month of love, amor, okay? And also friendship, amistad, amistad. Now, during this month, you have to tell somebody, okay, that you love them. That's all. I mean, every day you do it anyway, okay? So now you're going to say, I love you. Let's say what? Te amo. Two words carry a lot of weight. Te amo. I will be in before I leave, I say. I want you to tell my say you like the hamburger. If you're saying or trying to say me gusta la hamburguesa, you have to do correctamente. Correct. It's done correctamente correctly. Now tell me that you want pepperoni pizza. 
quiero pizza de pepperoni. Muy bien. I tell them that you like French fries. Me gusta las papas fritas. I tell them that you want iced tea or some tea. Quiero te. Well, I said you've done well. I study more. I must have much more food and stuff to learn and much to do. And we're getting ready to learn those books of the Bible in Espanol. Adios. Ciao.